Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is your boy Ears. Hope you guys are having a great rest of your day, start your day, whatever time it may be. And we're going to be going over the Apex Legends Season 1 Battle Pass, the roadmap, and discussing everything we know currently, as well as going over 10 leaked characters that we could potentially be seeing added to the game within the Apex Legends Season 1 Battle Pass. Now, before I get into any of that, let me give a quick shout out to the notification squad and thank you guys for coming out to each and every one of my videos and live streams. Shout out to my man, Alfred Love. Also, shout out to my man, Thomas McGrath. And let me give a shout out to my man, I am that good for being part of that notification squad. Now, remember, if you guys want your own personalized shout out in one of my videos, all you have to do is drop a like on the video, try to get this video to 500 likes, subscribe, and turn those post notifications on so you never miss a video or a live stream, especially a video like this where I'm discussing leaks, and as well as comment something down below in the comment section. It could literally be anything, but I'm having an idea. It's going to be a revolving around something to do with the Apex Legends season one battle pass and these 10 leaks characters and what i'm be doing right now is i'm gonna be putting up an image on screen these are all of the 10 leaked characters that we currently can see being added within the game that were actually leaked by data miners on pc we can see jericho prophet rampart rosie skunker watson octane crypto Huskaria, as well as Nomad. These are the 10 characters that have currently been data mined within the game. What I think is actually going to happen is once the battle pass does go live next week, I'm guessing around maybe Monday or Tuesday, I'm thinking a lot more characters are going to be revealed after the patch goes live on PC. But we can already see the abilities for Octane, which I'm actually going to be putting up on the screen right now as well. He has the ability called his for his passive is Swift Mend, and you're actually able to heal while taking damage, while not taking damage over time, excuse me. His tactical is going to be Adrenaline Junkie, and he'll be able to move 30% faster for 6 seconds at the cost of 10% health. And also, his ultimate is going to be a jump pad where he's going to be able to deploy a pad which can actually catapult other players through the air so in my opinion this is going to be a lifeline x bangalore kind of legends crossover i think this is actually going to be the new main apex legends character to use within gameplay this definitely does speed up the game a lot apex legends is already fast paced and i'm 110 percent down for new additions to the game that already speeds up gameplay so i'm really excited to see how octane is going to play out within apex legends let me know what you guys think about this character do you guys think he's going to be really good do you guys think he's going to be really bad or do you guys think he's going to be just borderline overpowered and he's probably going to get, be getting a nerf? Because honestly, I think what they're trying to do is kind of mix up the character usage because the three legends that you usually see every good squad run are going to be Lifeline, Wraith, as well as Bangalore because they all go ahead and they clash together very, very well. They're cohesive and their abilities kind of, you know backpack and stack off each other to ensure a guaranteed victory now what i also want to talk about within this video as well as is the season one roadmap now i'm showing a screenshot of the battle pass right now and the road we can see here what we're gonna be getting within season one are gonna be new weapons new characters new game modes as well as potentially i think some new random items within the game maybe some weapon skins and whatnot now what i really want to see them do within the season one battle pass is i want to see the solos and duos duos ltm added to the game now the reason why i want to see this added is because I want to see how the community reacts to these game modes. Now, Apex Legends, I do understand it is primarily played, it's supposed to be played with two other friends and you're going is as like a triple. Now, the reason why I want to see solos and duos is because I want to see how many players or how many people can actually break the current records right now, which are in the 30 kills for, you know, and as a solo in Apex Legends. I feel that it's going to be showing a lot more skill dropping in solos. I feel like duos is going to be really nice because something that I feel, you know, the, the respawn actually needs to go ahead and consider is that not a lot of players have the luxury of playing with friends. I know this might sound weird to some people in here, but there are a lot of gamers out there who 
absolutely refuse to play with players. They like to play games by themselves. That's how they enjoy themselves. That's how they get their rush playing battle royales or maybe traditional multiplayer games. And I feel that they need to at least add a solos list for those players so they can stay entertained and stay involved within the game. Because I'm not going to be, I'm not going to sit here and lie to you guys. If when I'm playing solo Apex Legends, nine times out of 10, I'm leaving my team, I'm abandoning them because they don't know what they're doing or they're playing extremely slow paced and I just hate slow paced gameplay. And that's exactly why I feel the need to go ahead and add a solo or maybe even a duos list for those players who want to just drop in solo, drop in in a hot spot and just mess players up and see how many kills they can drop and to see if they can actually stay alive and win the game to the end. That's, I think the reason why, you know, solos needs to be added to the game. Let me know your opinions in the comment section on that. And as well, is like I said, I want to see how many players people can take out in a match by themselves dropping in solo. Now, another thing I want to see them add within the Apex Legends Season 1 Battle Pass is I want them to go ahead and increase the player count. Now, what I want them to do is add the player count from 60 up to 90. I feel like 30 additional players with Apex Legends would actually speed up the gameplay just right. It's already fast, but in the slow ends of sometimes in these matches, they can last. I think the matches would go from maybe 19 minutes down to maybe 14 to 15. If 30 extra players were added, the hot spots like Skull Town would be absolutely chaotic and fun. You'd see a lot of insane clips if it was brought up to 60 to 90. And I think a lot of people can get behind and agree with me that 30 additional players in a server would absolutely be insane and a fantastic addition to Apex Legends. So that's what I want added to the Battle Pass. Currently, we don't know super duper much about it like i said i'm putting the screenshot on the screen now so you guys can kind of check it out and look at everything we know so far like i said we know we're going to be getting some legends there's already been 10 leaks we're going to be getting some new weapons we're going to be getting some new game modes whether that being solo duos or quads and we're also beginning some new loot within the you know apex packs which is probably going to be more weapon skins more skins for characters and other miscellaneous items that we probably don't even know exist within the game or not even you know been added to the game yet hope you guys do enjoy today's video like i said make sure you guys go ahead drop a like on the video shoot for 500 likes make sure you guys subscribe to the channel turn those post notifications on so you don't miss a video or a live stream and as well as comment something down below it could literally be anything but Voice your opinions on this battle pass, what you want added, and your opinions on the 10 league specialist, specifically the Octane character that we could be seeing coming to Apex Legends. It's been your boy Ears, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.